This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers of Aldermar back here with another episode of Metal Gear Acid 2. In the last episode, we did not throw Snake from the train as we uh, went through the terminal to get to the actual cargo train itself so we can get to the northern section. We had to sneak by with uh, Snake and uh, uh, um, Venus falling behind while the good doctor and her uh, stalwart ward were waiting behind for us. So... Time for us to get to the next section of the journey and see what other strange or wondrous things that uh, Metal Gear Acid can provide. So let's let's get on the cargo train. Hopefully we have a ticket. Don't want to get thrown off by like Indiana Jones or something like that. You know, no ticket. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Ah. Uh, <coughs> almost forgot her voice for a second. I knew do we. Uh, <coughs> uh, no, okay. Uh, I, I knew we were in a hurry to board the train. So I had to figure. I, I took a, I took a break off just for me to record as I forgot her, the voice was using. But riding on the roof is ridiculous. Oh, that is a bit crazy, but that I means Metal Gear. What do you expect? We didn't have a choice. It's a cargo train after all. Think of it as first class. Get a nice breeze and a priceless view. So now they just sit tight while the train takes them to the hangar. Yep, no problems at all. Right, if there's no trouble, they should cross the Iron Bridge soon. We've got trouble, uh, of course. What now? Where were you guys hiding? How did you even know we were up here? I call shenanigans! Exclamation point. You two, eliminate them! Gladly. What about the dog and the kid, though? Yeah, exactly. What about us? Uh, get down? Move to the back. And try not to get yourselves killed, okay? Snake, make sure Takayama and the girl don't come under fire. I know. Alright, what do we got? So, protect the doctor and eliminate all enemies. I assume just stepping in front of them will keep the Kind of like in the previous uh, fight where we had to fight all the robots. As long as we're the distraction, they shouldn't attack the good doctor and the kid. Uh, okay. How many do we have? It's just straightforward, right? It's just one, two, three, f okay, four. Well, that's a few more than I expected. All right, what do we got? Can I hit them from here? Yeah, not, good, not very good percentages, though. Might want to move up close. Oop, nope. Oh, I didn't know the upgraded, uh... Yeah, I did some minor upgrading on screen. Apparently they updated, uh... Um... Uh, the AKM, or whatever you want to call it. The upgrade version you have to equip now. Hmm. Interesting. I guess that makes sense, like, if it's going to be a lot more damage. Because the regular one is only attack 10. But you can use it all the, the whole time. But the upgrade one is attack 40 at 75% to hit. So, yeah, that kind of makes sense. But, anyway, at this point... That's six cost. Uh, so I want to at least move closer. Yeah, we'll, uh... Of course you saw me! What What do you expect? Alright, then we'll... Then we'll, uh... Go again after, after she gets to go. Yeah, that sleep card is really not going to be worth it here. Yeah, might as well take advantage of our low cost cards while we're here. Oops. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting she has three attacks. Oh, I you know I didn't even think about checking their the the care the enemy stats. Body armor, body armor, body armor, body armor. Uh, of course. It and we are attacking them from the front, so. Shit? Wait. I guess body armor works differently from anti armor. I guess anti armor is for robots. And at least we got rid of the armor. The armor was going to work no matter what direction we shot him in, frankly, so. You would think at least the anti armor would at least give you, like, a little bit of damage on, a, on that, but I guess not. Oh well. Yeah. 
I don't know why it even gave us an alert stats when they like recognize them. Like, dude, they're gonna recognize us. They're, they're like right there. Um, okay. The only problem is that you don't get as much damage if you shoot them from the front, though. No, I don't really need to do that. Well, that wouldn't be a bad idea having it equipped and then doing that, but but you have to attach it to it. Wait, you got? Oh, that's right. Yes, the equip cards, and they can counter. Forgot about that. Well, that's a bit annoying. Well, that's annoying. Uh, okay. Yeah, not gonna. Not gonna use C4, which I still don't know why that's in my deck when I do auto on that. So. All right, it's gonna counter me again. At least I'll get rid of his cards. So. Now I can just focus on focus on the, uh, the jerk here. Nice. Yeah, probably could have moved on to the side of him to get some extra damage, but... Ooh! Uh, what's your guys' movement at? Six. Uh, you guys are going to move before uh, before the turn. So I could... Actually, can you use that car... Can you use the sleep gun for uh, to actually explode the grenade? Huh. That's... I'm actually not sure about that. Huh. Well. And yeah, might as well... I mean, they'll move and stuff will happen, but I'm kind of curious if I can actually shoot that. But it won't do damage, though. Will it still activate? Well, I'm never going to put them to sleep, so I might as well see if that works or not. Oh, it does work. Huh. Cool. I wasn't sure it didn't do damage. I, I wasn't... I wasn't really highly sure if it would actually work. Huh. Well, that's good to know. At least there's some a nice extra use for uh, combat cards. Uh, what's her... I guess she could get a heal because she's probably going to get zapped here soon by a... Uh, yeah, she almost healed. I mean, she healed it all, so... Oh, wow. Uh, I didn't know the fire like lasted a certain amount of time. And oh, we kicked him awake. I was like... Huh. Fire has a weird in-string ra range. Or maybe that was from the bomb and it just stayed put. It just didn't look like it was... Should have been... Oh, we still got another. Good thing for grenade cards, I guess. Uh, oh, but I have to equip that to use it. What's their moving at? Uh, well, at least this guy won't be moving. The others will eventually, but... I might as well... Um... I've got no other way to really go next, do I? No? Alright. We'll just throw it here, even though they're going to just move out of the way. And I guess we'll put that, I guess. Not much else I can do. Yeah, they're going to move. I mean, why... Aw, oh, you caught her on fire, too! Dick! That's a little annoying. Yeah, hurt. I heard, uh, well, at least I got rid of his, uh, his, uh, body armor, at least. Oh, did that? Oh, that, that, oh, that knocked him into the rest of us, huh? Huh. Another equip card. Yeah, really not a good time to get equip cards, frankly. I wonder if he's still... Ow. Well, this is working out well, isn't it? Uh, probably best to get rid of the guys on the ground. Well, maybe that would that would do knock possibly knockdown. So yeah, let's uh. Oh, I missed. Come on, man. Ooh, nice. Then we'll just do like guy up front or whatever. Really? It missed? God, I really hate the point blank. Uh, not Non-extra bonus for point blank or anything like that. I don't know. I feel like... Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, I don't know. Like, 
What? More of them? What? What nonsense is this? I say shenanigans. I swear to God, I'll, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans. Alright. Um, there's not much I can really do. I guess I could run up and punch him. He's still on fire, though. Um, uh, I could get rid of my cards, I guess. I could just put no, one of those. Just, just try to get them to go to sleep. Go the fuck to sleep. We'll see what extra cards I get from that. Well, how many more guys are gonna... Wait, why did they look at each other? Huh. Uh, I wonder how many more guys are gonna have a pop-up. Uh, yeah, we'll use the rush. I've taken a decent amount of damage, so... Ah, oh, he's almost at. Ah, it's so close. Do they even know we're there? Oh, that's weird. All right. Aw, oh, man, no. Come on, man. Might just have to. Actually, that would be a good time to. Well, no, I do want to heal, so we'll use that, and then we'll use the giant Sasaki card, so that way we can uh, clear out our deck. Yep, half naked, half naked. Yep, you're dead. Nice use on the uh, fire grenades. Oh, now they see us. Oh, they've done it. God, no, no combat cards, man. That might do a... I mean, you already knew I was there. Oops. Oh, I can't punch him while he's on the ground? Uh, game, you're making it hard for me to li love you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just use another giant Sasaki to try and get some better cards. Alright, we'll use that to get closer to the next turn right there. And who knew this? Who knew this little section? Well, luckily that doesn't do a ton of damage. But needs a ow. Need some of those bombs to reappear, but I think we've used them for the next little bit, so. Uh, I could do, I could move and use the claymore, it'll hurt me, but it'll at least get some, like knock off their armor and I could heal later. Yeah, I could just heal, I'll just heal myself later. Oh wait, no. Uh, Actually, no, I'll, uh, I'll use that to go again. Or at least go sooner. Okay. Then we'll do... Oh, and we even got a ration to make up for using the... Uh, using the... Uh... Yeah, that'll get rid of his uh, armor. Oh, it even made him faint. Nice. Uh, oh, we'll do that. Get our turn back to zero. Go down to zero. He's a hero. Anyway, um, I don't really need to... Uh, um, who has? I assume it's the other guy has the armor. So, I don't want to use my best card on that dude, and then, um, yeah, I'll just try to. I'll try to get rid of it. Yeah. All right, then we'll. Uh, with that. Nice, get some. Ooh, that was a nice chunk of damage. It doesn't shoot as much as the, uh, the, uh, it doesn't do as many hits because I think it did like four as opposed to eight, but still. And we'll knock down, we should be able to knock down him. Let's see, what, do I need any of these? Oh, that turns into single weapon. No, I don't need that. Yeah, it's Half-Life. Nah, yeah, we don't need that either, so we'll use that to knock both of them back. Maybe we'll get a faint out of one of them. Nah, yeah, well, we didn't need it, but you never know. I think 
got that guy. Hopefully. Yeah, there you go. Not too bad, not too shabby. We can take out a bit of dorks while we're doing this. Yeah, we'll, uh... yeah sure, it's still 70% either way. So... Oh, right, I forgot. Oh, that's right, she had a counter too. Counter cod! Or was it? Counter cross! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's a bomb! World's greatest detective. Ow! Well, you hit your own dude. I don't know why you did that. It's a bit dumb, but all right. We'll do that, and then we'll heal ourselves. And yeah, we'll we'll do that. How do you miss a dead man, or how do you miss a guy on the ground? Tell me, game. All right. Oh, bomb. That would be good, but could uh, do the punch command with just like one of these attacks, like uh, this one. No, wait, it won't. Oh, it won't let me use it, will it? That's annoying. Never mind. Well, these two cards suck then, because I can't even use them as a as like a a waste to like do them for another move or something like that. So I'll get rid of those. Nope, he got up. Ah, oh, he's on his feet. Oh no. Hey, don't punch a lady. How dare you punch a lady. No. Let me guess, I'm not going to get my turn before the bomb goes off, even though they all get to go before their turns go off. Uh, you're hitting your own companion again. What's wrong with you, game? Uh, okay. Well, I'm not going to move then. I was going to move, but... That one's eight cost. What's his next turn? Eight. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely, definitely go before that. Bombs all around, I tell you. Bombs. You get a bomb. You get a bomb. All right. Uh, well, that would be nice to have. Yeah, that. Yeah, that'll make give her a lot of turns. But okay, so there's a bomb. Under his feet, so I'd have to move back to where she is if I don't want to get hit, or I could move really high up. Well, maybe I should have thought this through. Aw, oh, man. Um, what would the... Oh, just out of range. Although it takes way too long to, to activate at this point, so... Might as well use those. Because, yeah, I assume he threw it on that square, so I could... Uh, Whoops, no. There we go. Okay, then we'll just wait there. Nice. Whoa! I didn't know you could knock a guy off the train. Oh, huh. I didn't even think about maybe going to the side of them and then just knocking their asses off. Huh. Well, uh, I guess for those of you who haven't played this episode, or haven't played this level yet, or aren't playing along, then you could just probably get to the side of them and punch them off. Huh. I didn't even think about that for some reason. See, we got Dr. Keo Marv. I don't know which game that's from. I assume he's from Metal Gear 2, because I haven't actually played the MSX version of that game. And Julian, or Gillian Seed from uh, Police Knots. So... Yeah. Oh well, actually, I could read the card. I don't know. I'm just assuming now when I could clearly just, you know, read the cards later. I can see the bridge up ahead. The hangar's just beyond that, right? Yes. Wait a minute. Our satellite is picking up. That can't be right. What is it? <laughs> it's a. It's. Ah, never mind. I was gonna make a red dwarf joke, but I can't remember the whole the line of dialogue anyway. So, impossible. It's. Metal Gear. Oh, I was actually going to make a joke, but no. It's Metal Gear. Okay, tone it down with the operatic chorus, dude. Yeah, it's not that epic. I mean, look at the color scheme. It hurts my eyes. Crash in. I'm sorry. Don't crash into it. Stop the train. Stop the boat. Keep your damn heads on. I've got an idea. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh. 
Huh? How'd you just stop it like that? I didn't think trains... I thought trains, you had to, like, stop it, like, five... Or, well, maybe not five minutes, but, like, so much time before it stopped because of just momentum. What's up with Venus and hopping up and down? Just showing up those jiggle physics, huh? Snake, Takayama, you okay? Come in, do you read me? Uh, oh, uh... Lucy. God, I always revert to my Russian every time I do that. I don't know why. Dr. Couplethorn. No, oh, didn't even do the right... What, Cobblethorn? Oh, my Lucy. Thank you for bringing her back to me, Michiko. What? Takayama. Whoops, sorry, my voice. Lucy managed to wander out of my laboratory, so I had Michiko here go out and search for her. I was worried that those mercenary guards might have captured her. I owe you all for protecting her all this way. Takayama, so you knew all along? Damn it, the boobs lied to us. We should be going now, Michiko. Come along, Lucy. Well, can't we just stop him or shoot him or something like that if they did? What happened? Dr. Couplethorn, you're going through with the experiment? Of course. But if the fertilization is successful, she'll be... And what about me? Well, you're fodder, apparently. Michiko, we've gone over this a thousand times. You suck. I mean, I gave you a good position, one with plenty of funding for research. You should be satisfied. What more could you want? Tot, tot, tot. It's in your best interest to follow my instructions. It always is. Tot, tot, tot. Please, Michiko, we still have the final adjustments ahead. I need you. That's not very sexy, dude. Uh, all right. Wait, what? Takayama? What are you doing, Miss Jiggle? Don't do that. Not if I have anything to do with it. Oh, well, at least someone was thinking about Uh, well. Uh, seriously, Venus, you really tried to take on Metal Gear by yourself? Well, actually, Snake can do it in other versions of the game. Never mind. No, Mika World of Forts. No! The perfect boobs! I mean, the girl I don't care about, but the perfect boobs! Come back! No! Dang it! Man, it's like we didn't even try to stop them. Well, I mean, he technically shot us to stop them. Go back to Wodzinski. Only two hours remain. Gather everyone on the list. Everyone involved in that incident three years ago. And bring them to me. If they refuse to meet my demands, I've got plenty of nuclear warheads here to reduce their city of rubble and charred corpses. I'm dead serious. That's how. That's exactly how she wants it. Dead? Are you dead fucking serious? You! Wait, what are you doing, Snake? Uh-oh. Whoa! Chill, dude. It can't be. What the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be dead. Wait, what? You know who I am? Even though we all know who Snake is? Yeah, whatever. Huh. Who's, who are those bozos? Uh... Are they on Couplethorn's side or our side? I don't know. Huh. I assume I was about to say I assume they're aiming at him, but Doctor Copplethorn. Or I don't even know if that's uh, now's your chance to get out of here. Good dim mercenaries, get out of my way. Doctor Copplethorn, disarm your weapons immediately. Huh? It didn't take long for Vince to come back after the beating we gave him. President Radinsky says that if you surrender now, he'll try to be understanding about all this. Understanding, isn't he forgetting which one of us is the warhead? If you don't surrender, you're gonna get shot. In that big thing? Funny, I was just about to say the same thing to you. Well, tanks versus Metal Gear. We all know the obvious result, but hey, let's watch them play it out, shall we? Who wants to put that on repeat, shall we? Huh. Well, I guess this Metal Gear sucks. Whoa! Well, that sucks. Got any more bright ideas, Vince? Am I making myself clear? Loud and clear, Captain. As long as I hold the sh Shayoth Hoth Kadosh Metal Gear. I mean, Metal Gear. Shayoth Ha Kadosh? What does that mean? Huh. 
I can destroy any army you advance. Listen to me. I've added a new name to the list. It's a man who's had this coming for the past three years. You people call him Snake. Bring him to me! Huh. To think he's been alive this entire time. But I'm quite happy to learn that he is. I've dreamt of this revenge for three years, three long years. I'm going to kill that bastard with my own two hands. Do you hear me? We have two hours. Huh. Another case of Snake not sharing about his past or amnesia or whatever. Dude, what did that bridge do to you, jackass? Bridges are awesome. Huh. Well, we ain't going back that way. We're going to have to find another way back uh, to the northern section. Hey there, Snake. We're almost there. Where? You've, like, stepped two bits to the side. And it looks like the good Takayama and her protege, or the ward, uh, Lucy, Lucy, is that what they call? Anyway, have left to join Copplethorne because of the experiments and other such things. Now Copplethorne's got Metal Gear, but he's destroyed the bridge. How will how will Venus and Snake get to the northern side? Is Snake hurt for good? Find out next time in the next episode of Metal Gear Acid 2. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.